How can there be difference without separation? Well, probably the easiest example I can think of off the top of my head would be a rainbow. When you see a rainbow, you could, there is a difference. There's variation. You can see green, you can see red, you can see violet. There, there's these various colors. There's different colors. But in no way are they separate. There's not like separate bands. There's no wall. There's no divide. It's one rainbow. And actually, the colors flow across the continuum. They bleed into the next. There's, there's no line of demarcation saying, well, this is the red band, and this is the orange band, and this is the yellow band. And, it's, it's all, and so you can say there's separate, separate bands added together. That isn't how a rainbow is. A rainbow is singular. It's one thing. And in this one thing that's not separate, that's whole, there is variation. And so you can see differences between the various colors. Additionally, as further proof that the colors bleed into each other and there is no separation, no one has ever seen a rainbow without the yellow. No one has seen a rainbow without the green. In order to, rem you could not remove one of the bands because they are not separate. They all arise together because they are one thing. <laughs> and so there's, there, there's no separate bands. There, there's non-separation. And yet there's variation in color. There's differences. You could say this, this part's blue, this part's red. But there really are, isn't a part. It's one thing. It's just conventions of speech to say this is a part and that's a part and these are the differences. And we forget that it's one thing and they cannot be separate. They cannot be taken apart. You cannot remove any piece.